Hey everyone, welcome back to our Goody Two Shoes Let's Play of Dark Souls. Last time we died a whole lot. So let's have a little rest. We can't level up. So this time we'll explore this here castle. Let's get to it. Open all the doors. See what's in them. More of these silver knights. A lot of treasures. Yeah, we can totally parry them, backstab them. Like, uh, it's easier here than it was outside. Oh, damn. Yeah, they, they do a lot of damage, have a lot of HP, but... Oh, damn. That was a shield attack. Not going so well, but there's the backstab. Let's have a drink. And let's finish him. Yeah, these guys do have a chance of dropping their weapons and their shields. Let's check this chest. Not a mimic. Curved chain. Sun white metal. This is actually a covenant item. Solaire's covenant. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, these silver knights can drop their shield, their sword or their spear. Like, depending on, on what they are using. Their shield is a pretty good weapon. Oh, I, I thought we could get them. Apparently not. I don't think they can heal. Whoa! Pff. Damn. Thought he would uh, do another strike there. Let's see what's over here. We can't open this door from this side, so that's obviously our shortcut. Over here we have a window or something, a hole. This is actually a tip. And we have an empty room over here. It doesn't have anything in it. But again, the tip over there that uh, whole window, whatever, is over here. This actually is fake. You can go over here. You can go down to this really, really dark room. Like it has like an artificial darkness. I have no idea where this thing fell from. But we have a bunch of chests here. And this is not a mimic. Curve chain. Have all stuff. Like if you remember that guy that we fought in the basement of the tower that gave us uh, the ring. That's Havel. We have his shield and his weapon, the dragon tooth. Again, this room is uh, like uh, has a story with Havel. Uh, like his story is that they think, like people think he's kind of a traitor. He hated sorcery, he hated a magic using dragon in the game. But he got discovered and they walked him in in that, uh, in the basement of the tower. This here is a mimic, pointed chain. Let's own it. Yeah, so, this here stash of his got discovered, and this mimic calls an occult club. So, that's actually a club that's um, upgraded alongside the dark path, like, with the dark ember. And it is said that uh, occult weapons deal, uh, like, more damage to, to the gods. So, these are weapons for killing gods. And he stashed that club over there. So, people think that's why he was about to betray the gods. So, we have a staircase over here. Over here we have actually a shortcut that people discard. If we make a jump over here, like over this here... 
thing we can end up over there and that's actually the way out I don't know why the graphic is like a forest over there it's not it's still inside the castle but that's our way forward but that's a short a shortcut we'll deal with it later we have more to explore over here we have another silver knight in this room let's actually try to parry this one okay that's his shield thing and there's the parry And he's dead. No drop. Here we have another soul. Another soul hero. 10,000 souls. And if we look down there. We have a Titanite demon. Like this is what's making this uh, ominous noise. Like I think it's breathing or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah. There's another Titanite demon over here. In this room, we don't have anything, it's empty. But yeah, we can see stairs down there and another sewer knight with chests. We will go to him. So the Titanite demons in the game get harder progressively. Like every uh, Titanite demon that we meet is harder than the previous one. So. Another Mimic, Pointed Chain. Okay. Deal some damage to it. Don't let it hit you. And it's dead. It's got some Silver Coins. Like, these coins have, like, no value. In this world. Like you can't buy anything with them, you can just trade them to Frampt, who will give you souls for them. So another Mimic, yeah this place is like full of them. So check every chest. Well, only one hit on that swing combo there. But yeah, it's also dead. And gold coins. Same thing with the silver ones. And over here we have an archer. Let's deal with him. Backstab. Whoa, he didn't die. Yeah, backstabs deal less damage than reposts. There is nothing here, except the view, again, an awesome city. Like we don't get to explore down there in, uh, in this game. But over here actually we can see Zygmar, like our onion bro, from this window. So we know that he is in our window, we'll go to him. We'll speak to him. This door does not open from this side, so we will go over here. We hear a bunch of knights like walking around. We have some pictures here. Like a, I think this is like a concept art of the game. So it's always nice when they manage to use uh, the concept art inside the game. Like uh, more, resor more resources not gone to waste. There's a knight waiting for you here. So be careful. Shield attack, sword attack, parry. Parry and repost. And dead. No drop, and there's some stairs over here. And we end up on the roof. There's a knight over there, an archer over there. We can totally go to the knight first. That archer won't fire at us. Shield 
shield attack, sword attack. Like you can get uh, in a rhythm. Like uh, you can like guess which attack uh, they do. They sort of have a pattern. So if they are gonna do an attack that's that's easy for you to dodge uh, or not dodge but parry, you can just wait for that attack and parry it. Deal with this archer like on flat ground. They are like super easy. Oh damn. I say that and I immediately get punished for it. But yeah, shield attack, sword attack. And dead. Dragon Slayer arrows. Yeah, he was an archer so he has a chance of dropping his arrows. And those arrows can actually only be used with uh, a certain ball, with uh, the ball that they are using. And if we go down here, there is Zygmire. Whatever can be done. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Is the fate of vanguard like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. Okay, so we kind of weren't repelled by the Silver Knights, we were just owning them. But I'm guessing he has some difficulties with them. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three no. Maybe five bodies. Hmm. Quite a fix indeed. So he's actually talking about this room over here, it has uh, three silver knights inside and he suggests that we need three or five more people to beat them. So seven people to beat three silver knights. Let's try them on our own. Yeah, there is one in the corner here. Like, we have to be careful when fighting the Silver Knight over here because uh, he can hit Zygmire. Also, we may hit Zygmire. We have to be careful about that. Okay, he fall. He fell. So, we can totally uh, like get the attention of only one. I think. So let's do that. Yeah, here's one. Did the shooting. And the second attack is real easy to parry when he does his sword combo. Dead, and that leaves only you. Come on, do a shield attack or a sword combo. Shield attack, sword attack. Yeah, they become easy after a while. Another chest. Not a mimic this time. It's really hard to see its chain. Two demon tight knights. Awesome. So, we dealt with these knights here. Let's talk to Zygmar again, let him know the news. Hmm. Hmm. Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait, you defeated those monsters? Fantastic! I'm saved! This knight of Catalina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. So he gave us the Tiny Beings Ring. The, that's actually a gift that you can get at the start of the game. Like we got uh, the Master Key, we could have gotten the Tiny Beings Ring. It ups your HP a slight amount, it's not really worth it. But yeah, Zygmar just wants to be a knight, wants to be heroic. So he asked us next time to give him a chance to come up 
with a plan. He wants to fight. He doesn't want to sit idle. So maybe next time we will. We can open this door now. We end up over here. But our way is actually on the roof. Like this is kind of optional. Like uh, not kind of, this is optional. The three silver knights. This is kind of a part of Zygmire's quest line. If you can call it a quest in this game. And there is the staircase, the other staircase that I was talking about, that we can jump to. There is the place where we fought the mimics. Like, this is like really neatly designed, really neatly planned. There are two staircases in, like, entwined with one another. And there we are. This is the room with the Titanite Demon. And this is the room with the Silver Knights, with the Dragon Heads here. We have two Silver Knights to deal with over here. And there is the one. Bury him. Yeah, you can totally like uh, fight them normally with normal sword swings or whatever like, but pairing them is way easier for me faster this one doesn't actually attack unless we go really close to him so I'm actually going to open this door first it's uh, really advisable to do so because this is our shortcut like over there is our bonfire so open your shortcut first because like uh, there is a chance of uh, this guy killing me and I'll have to walk all the way back. I was early on this. Okay, sh maybe should have parried there. Yeah, I don't like to parry these swings, I like to parry the other one. Come on, do the other swing, please. Yeah, this one. Nice. Okay. And after he gets up, we kill him. Another two chests. Not mimics. And here we get the Silver Knight set. It's a really cool looking set. It's uh, the same as the Knights, actually. You can totally look like a Silver Knight. So we opened our shortcut over here. So let's go back up. You know what? Let's actually fight this guy. Enchant our weapon and go in. That's his grab attack. So we don't want to be there. Yeah, he has a ton of health. A ton of damage. He may one-shot me, I don't know. He does a lot of stamina damage. But yeah, his tactic is kind of sort of the same as the other Titanite Demons. Like, just stay around this place and get in some attacks. Oh, damn. Like the part of the difficulty with these Titanite demons is the places where you fight them. Like here is kind of cramped with a lot of these benches. And there's an attack, we have a chance to strike. Again, you have to be careful when he jumps. Attack. Yeah, they're not that difficult. But, again, 
things may change like really fast with them just because they deal a ton of damage oh damn like that that totally went through my shield so we'll actually go outside be careful because he can totally clip through the wall strike through we we'll actually enchant our sword again for a little added damage and go in that's his grab attack let's get a good bit of damage there like I want to attack as much as possible while I have the enchant on my sword and I'm sort of stuck over here good thing he moved okay again jump attack okay we want to be over here to strike and he has little health right now oh that's a grab attack okay let's punish it yeah now he has super little health but he's one or two hits away yeah he still has his lightning attack let's dodge that he strikes and there we go to tight knight uh, like demon tight knight he does not respawn and now that uh, heavy breathing voice is gone and over here we actually have the main like room in the castle Let's just go up first. We have a broken window over here, we'll check that out. But first we'll go over here. Because there is an important NPC over here. Yeah, you can already hear the hammering. So you can guess that this is another blacksmith. It's the giant blacksmith. Yeah, he doesn't care who we are, he just wants to forge weapons. So let's actually repair. Repair everything. Let's see what he has for purchasing. Large green twinkling. Like right? twinkling is very important for people who use special weapons. He has the giant's halberd and shield. He has a lot of different arrows and bolts. And he has the giant's armor. We aren't gonna buy anything from him right now. And we can't modify our weapon more. But let's see what he has. So he can modify a uh, lightning weapon, he can make a uh, lightning enchantment, and he can make boss weapons. So this is very important. All the souls, like all the boss souls that we have, uh, he can turn them into weapons or shields or whatever. So this NPC is really important for that. So here outside we have more of these demons, we'll just wreck them. And he just fell, that's no problem. 
And here we have all more of them. I actually forgot about this one. I'm guessing that he can also fall like uh, the one on the other side. Yep. And this one. Let's actually dodge that attack because it does a lot of lightning damage. Let's push him. And over here we have a Titanite Chunk. A really useful upgrade material. And now we can open this here door. Like the these knights do see us. So that's kind of a pain because they can actually hit us through that door. So we'll go back over here and just run and open this door. So this is kind of a shortcut to the beginning of uh, Anor Wando. So now we can go back, someone kindled our bonfire. Got another Estus, that's good. So let's go back up. And go through this here broken window. You can go over here. And there's a drop there, let's actually drink. So we can be sure. This is actually the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. That's the bow that those archers were using. And this is the way that we uh, get out of here. Like, uh, this here thing is missing one of these. Like, uh, fencings. Yeah, we do take some damage, but not a lot. So that's how you get that ball. It actually, I think it requires 20 strength and 20 dex to use. It's kind of slow. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, but I kind of don't think it's worth it. And down here in the main hall, we have an archer. Let's just uh, try to bury him. And kill him. Okay, he didn't drop any anything. And down here, we actually have two of these giants, but these are kind of uh, upgraded giants. And we saw there that uh, our black-eyed orb is acting up. drink a potion. So these giants can actually cast heal and they can also do another cleric spell which is called uh, Wrath of the Gods. It's kind of annoying. It does a lot of damage and it pushes you around. There is a kind of a tactic with them. You can like jump on their head and I totally missed it. So yeah, another Kindle of the Bonfire, so we have one Estus, so that's good. So we actually want to fight one of them, not both. So we'll go back to this here door. We'll actually push this uh, lever. Yeah, we have uh, invincibility frames. And this door, uh, this lever actually opens the main gates. So we have another like, sort of shortcut. And they do their sweeping attacks. Shield attack. And that's Wrath of the Gods over there. Yeah, I think it will probably go through my shield. Another shield slam. 
Yeah, they do have more health than the other guys. Do a shield slam, dude. Nope. Shield slam. Come on. Don't go over there. Come on. Oh, another Wrath of the Gods. You don't want to be near them when they do that. So, by the way, their heal is really annoying, Wrath of the Gods again. Like, they heal when they are on low HP. And usually, you don't have much time to deal with their heal. So, they tend to heal up a lot. There's a shield slam, finally. Come on. And there we go. One is dead. And they drop chunks. Awesome. I also think that uh, they can drop the halberd and the uh, shield. But they can also drop chunks. So that's really, really good. So let's deal with this one. There's a shield slam. Well, and there's the, like, additional hitbox. Let's drink. And, come on, do shield slam or something, yep. So we can do some good damage. I actually don't want uh, for them to demonstrate the heal. Because it's really annoying. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, you can kind of tell. You can totally tell when they're about to do Wrath of the Gods. Yeah, and that went through our shield. So that's not good. Come on, dude. Do a shield slam. Do a good attack for me to... Whoa, what was that? I went airborne for a second there. Come on. He's almost dead. That's right of the gods. Let's punish. And he's dead. Yeah, they do give 3000 souls. But I don't think they're worth farming. They're a lot of work. By the way, if we are human, if we reversed our humanity over here, there would be a summon sign. And it's actually Solaire's summon sign. So he can totally help out with those guys. And he can totally help out with the boss over there. Because the boss is maybe one of the hardest, if not the hardest boss of Dark Souls. So, I think we explored the whole keep. We can do a thing with our uh, Black Eye Orb. I'm thinking about doing it actually. Why not? That's right, I don't know if we uh, if we lose our souls or anything, do we use, lose our enchant? I have no idea. Let's see. So the developers here wanted for us to experience what is to do an invasion. So we are an invader here. And this is Nightwatrek, the guy that we actually saved. And he also has two other guys with him. So this battle is really a pain in the ass because we are 3v1. But all we need to do is kill Wotrek. His dialogue kind of skipped over there. So he does have a guy with a shield, a mage, and Wotrek himself. 
what Rec can totally parry, by the way. So we have to be careful about that, we have to be careful about the healer. Oh damn, he has an attack which goes through shields. And we are dead, okay. Yeah, we couldn't do anything over there, like uh, the fastest way for that fight is kind of to just get in Wotrek's face, parry him a bunch until he dies. And yeah, we still have our souls, we still have uh, uh, like our black eye orb, we can totally try again. Like invasions don't uh, get rid of your souls, don't take your humanity, don't take like anything from you. So you don't lose anything, like it's just fun to do. But we'll try it all alongside the boss next time. Like I want to dedicate a whole episode to that boss because, like I said, it's probably the most difficult boss in the entire game. So stay tuned for that next time, guys.